Nairobi, Kenya's capital, was in sunny mood for the visit of Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh. With the RAF airfield at Eastleigh, a blaze of colour, towering African chieftains and their tribesmen, dressed in brilliant robes and leopard skins, awaited their princess. A last-minute salutation from the Governor of Kenya, Sir Philip Mitchell, with the arrival of the Argonaut airliner. And the Royal Travellers were welcomed by Sir Philip as the guns sounded a salute. Soon after, Princess Elizabeth inspected the Royal Air Force Guard drawn up in her honour. The wise African chiefs have seen the tremendous changes in Nairobi to which the Princess herself referred in her speech. The contrast we see today is a striking tribute to the men and women of all races who have made it a great centre of commerce and finance the crossroads of East Africa, the capital of your colony, and the seat of the East Africa High Commission. Then to the newly built Pumwani Maternity Hospital, where there was this charming bouquet incident with a shy little African named Prince, because he shares Prince Charles's birthday. Already, the Duke, less than half an hour in Africa, was smilingly conversing with local officials, while the Princess seized the chance to inspect Kenya's modern nursing conditions. Kenya's wedding present to the Princess and her husband was Sagana Hunting Lodge in the foothills of Mount Kenya. And during a garden party given by the Governor and Lady Mitchell in the grounds of Government House, the key to the lodge was presented to the Princess. After meeting nearly a hundred leaders of the colony, the travellers walked round the gardens, admiring the tropical blooms in the perfect summer weather. Next day, over 12,000 European, African and Asian children awaited the Princess and the Duke in the same lovely gardens. A continuous roar of cheering greeted the happy couple as they drove through the excited ranks of youngsters before separating, each to visit another local hospital. The sun was very hot when the royal tourists met again to inspect the new headquarters of the Kenya Regiment, a fine territorial organisation with a distinguished record. Then a visit to the magnificent Cathedral of the Highlands, started in 1949 and now nearing completion. Finally, the drive along part of the famous Cape to Cairo Highway to be known in future as Princess Elizabeth Way. And at the City Hall, grateful thanks were expressed for the happiness the royal visit has given to Nairobi and to all Kenya.